Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Uh, listen, it's a very serious situation in Houston area after storms at 100 mile per hour winds have wreaked havoc across that area there. Uh, these are what they call inline winds. How many of you uh, definitely comment for people that are that maybe are new to the channel here that have actually heard me speak about this, what, three years ago that this was going to be happening? Uh, that we were going to be seeing these inline winds that were going to just be devastating, just devastating across the, 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 the country here. Uh, well, uh, NBC News here is reporting what happened in Houston, Texas. Brick walls knocked out, windows on the high rises, down trees, down power lines, everything else you could possibly imagine. Seven people killed from flying debris. And that all from what they call inline winds at a uh, topping 100 mile per hour, uh, snapping power poles in half. Um, really, really devastating storm. Well, you know, the odd thing is, is just before uh, I left Florida here about a week ago, coming back up to Tennessee to take care of some things, we were having a very similar situation down in Florida. And that night, in fact, I, we'd hear, heard about this. Uh, just days before uh, where there were more inline winds across the south there uh, that were happening that were, you know, very high winds and stuff. And then I woke up that morning. I knew we had storms that night, but I woke up that morning and I saw some of the awning and stuff like that of the house laying out there in the yard, but I didn't really think about it. And I'm driving up, uh, headed back to Tennessee, and there's a long highway from Santa Rosa County there going up all the way up to Interstate 65, and I was noticing power lines just snapped in half laying on the ground, popped up like just, you wouldn't even believe it here. Now, this is from the Pensacola News Journal, and they're showing pictures here like this. Uh, I think Chamuckla Highway is the main road they were showing. Now, Chamuckla Highway uh, is a road that runs parallel to that of the road that I go up out, out of town on there, going just north out of Milton, Florida. And uh, you can start to see here some of the power lines, but I was seeing everywhere power lines like the trees just snapped in half and they actually got a picture of that as well at first i thought it was a tornado that must have came through the area but no uh, because then the further i drove up the highway the more and i'm trying to get to the power line picture here in just a second here we go right here you can see the string of power line poles just snapped in half on shamakla highway well, on the road that i was going north on I must have seen 50 power line poles like that snapped in half just laying on the ground. Now, I've lived in northwest Florida for many, many years, southern Alabama, been through a lot of hurricanes, uh, all the way from, from Camille back when I was a little boy, uh, right on down through the years there. Never have I seen so many power lines snapped in half is what I did that day when I came out of there. Like I said, at first I thought it was tornadoes. Well, later... Come to find out, according to the Pensacola News Journal, though, no, it was 100 uh, mile, it was straight line winds that were causing it. And I don't know if they said in the article here, I'll uh, just see if we can find it, if they have anything in here. But um, uh, they, these winds no doubt had to be over 100 mile per hour uh, type winds. Well, the, the weird thing is, though, is that three years ago, I was told because of this binary system, this so-called Planet X coming in, that it would cause so many effects on the sun that that would in turn affect the weather patterns on the Earth. And that we would start to see very commonly inline winds as a result. Inline winds, as I was told then, over 100 mile an hour. It wasn't long after I put that video out, and I want to say it was in 2021 that I did this video there, that we had our first inline storm wind that happened across the Northwest United States there. And I forget which state it was in. I want to say like Colorado or something like that or Utah, and it made headline news. Also, I was hearing that we would start seeing hail the size of softballs. All right, there's been a couple of articles since then that have come out about that as well. But these inline winds, though, were not as common back then. I think we had two storms that year of inline winds that did top 100 miles per hour. But now it's become, this year, it's become a regular event. 
and not just here in the United States and other parts of the world. The flooding as well. But two, everything weather related, I was told, would actually happen as this binary system got closer. Uh, earthquakes we would see. Now, I'm just going to remind you, although I haven't really seen this as of yet, but earthquakes would become normal at 8.0 and higher. Yeah, imagine that. Uh, volcanoes. Back then, I was being told if you could fly in a plane over the oceans, if you look down, you'd start to see more and more volcanoes active under the oceans than ever than before, but they're keeping it hush-hush. And even the volcanoes now that are going off all around the world, it's insanely crazy. Auroras coming all the way down to the panhandle of Florida off this last solar storm that hit the Earth that was so massive that it caused our magnetosphere to weaken so greatly that that happened. And again, of course, I was told, too, that because of the weakening of the magnetosphere, another thing that we would see would be these entities enter because our dimensions will start to collide and you'll be able to see into other dimensions, things like that. And that's becoming a more of a norm. So it's getting pretty wacky out there. By the way, jump on our Patreon. That's where a lot of those type videos I put are on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live. Just loaded a video up over there the other day about the House of Israel. Something I discovered that I had not known before. Prophecy. It's about to, we're about to see that in real life right now, very soon. And it is alarming. Uh, I'm actually going to go even deeper in a different direction than what I did on Patreon here, uh, hopefully with you guys this sometime this weekend. That's what I'm working on even now. But you want to get a taste of what I'm about to put out, check out Patreon on our uh, patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live. I just did it on our Thursday night teaching. By the way, Thursday night, you're invited every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. All you got to do is type in www.steven, S-T-E-V-E-N, Ben Noon, B-E-N-N-U-N.com, and you can join us there. I do a live broadcast with our folks there on our Zoom meeting. It goes up on Patreon afterwards, but you're able to just jump right into the Zoom meeting and watch it for yourself. Oh, one, one other thing, let me just remind you before we close out, because of all these crazy weather events that we're having, and not just to mention the threat of, you know, well, let me, let me put it this way here. EMP Shield is hands down the best surge protecting device you could ever possibly get. And with storms the way they're going, forget the electric magnetic pulse. This system has protected more homes and, and, and systems that people have than ever before. When we did the interview with these guys up there, and I still got to get that up and posted for you, they were showing us amazing testimonies how EMP had totally saved homes from massive lightning storms and things like that. And we don't normally think of our houses getting hit by lightning. It's very unusual as it is, right? But the way the storms are going right now, more than ever before, you might want to seriously look at getting an EMP shield. And, uh, and they do, by the way, they have it for the, for the house, they have it for solar panels, even for your generator system, you need to possibly get a, a system. Let me just kind of show that to you there, that you know that's something that we don't normally think about. But yeah, your generator itself could use an EMP shield just so your generator's not destroyed by some kind of lightning uh, attack. But if you add that to your cart, uh, just remember, and you go to the cart there, the, the company will give you $50 off just by using the INL50 coupon code. That's Israeli News Live, INL50. You put that in there, you apply that code, they're going to knock an additional $50 off of your order for you by applying that code, INL50. Anyway, thank you for your support of this broadcast and our ministry. God bless you.